guys, today I will be showing you how to do uh, one minute and a half, one minute and a half of a minute cupcakes. Well, they call it cupcakes, I don't really call it cupcakes, so they don't always turn out with a cupcake. Okay, and um, they're really nice and they are really delicious. So, I'm going to be making them today in my microwave. I will tell you the ingredients. You will need flour. You will need eggs. Well, you only need one egg. You need hot chocolate powder. You need oil. I think that's all you'll need, actually. I can remember. Yeah. Can you put it at all? No, that's not. Okay. So, let me get started. So I will get started. Let me put you in the shade so you can actually see me. Um, so I went to Esther and I just bought this little bit of um, dough, not dough, <laughs> self-rising flour. Um, you will obviously need a cup. I bought also a little chocolate thing. They are for enough for what I'm doing. As well, um, I got little hot clips. You only need one for this one, okay? So just take one out. You won't actually need it all. You only need a tiny bit. So yeah, I will show you all. And that's all I got from Asda today to show you this. And then I also did this next. You will need some oil. I'm using vegetable oil. It's just really oily. Uh, you also need. So I'm just going to take one egg. One egg. Mm. Need one egg, and I think that's all you'll need. I'm sure it is. Mm. Um. So yeah, you'll need an egg, some flour, some oil, and hot chocolate, and of course you'll need a mug. Oh. And sugar, I forgot sugar. So I have all my ingredients. That's not what I do need. So I've got a cup. You don't always have to do it in a cup. I'm not, I'm just gonna do it in a bowl. I find it easier to do it in a bowl because when you mix it's easier to mix and it turns out a bit more better. So if you want, you basically can do a little mini cup of cake, if you like that is. That's what I'm going to do today, so I really hope you do enjoy this. Um, so you'd open your flour. Oh, flour's been messy. Okay. So if you don't have measuring little things. I'm really sorry. Uh, oh, unfortunately. Okay. You'll need tablespoons. So it's this gigantic one, a tablespoon. Okay. And you're going to put about two of them in. So this is one. This is two. And because we're doing a giant cupcake, I'm just gonna have half one. So you're gonna get the half one, whatever that is. I think this is it, yep. You're gonna get a half one, what is this big? And so yeah, make sure it's just half. Then you've got half. And just pull that in there. So we're done for that for now. We're done with the flour. So far, we've finished the flour. Okay, so that might have worked when you put the flour in. Well, that's how it's supposed to work anyway. So yeah, you've got two, teas two tablespoons and a half in them. And then, I'm trying to remember, you put the egg in. So, wait, let me show you. We're going to... Crack the egg, then add an egg in there. Oh, 
And when you've added the egg, you want to stir that up. So I'm going to use a fork. It depends what you like to use. And you want to mix that all up together. So let me just do that. Sorry, I'm just like... This does look really weird at the moment. Supposed to not get all that. I think I put too much, so you might want another egg in there, okay? But it depends what you think. If the powder lumps ain't going, you want that then. But if you can get all lumps out of there, then that'll be fine. See, I've done most of the lumps out of there. Okay. So you're going to put that over here. And then I'm going to add your cocoa powder. Or whatever you're using. Only put a bit in. And see how dark you want it. Oh, oh my gosh, it's making so much mess. That cocoa powder just bagged on me. Okay, so see how you how dark you want it because some people might not want it as dark. And chocolate, if you want it a bit chocolatey, like if you're not a fan of chocolate. Well, I don't know why you wouldn't be. If you're allergic to chocolate, then you don't want to put this one in. You shouldn't really do this then. Go on the sides and just kind of get all the chocolate bit. And then scrape it off. As you can see, I have a caramel kind of chocolate right now. And I think I just want it a bit more dark than that. So I'm add a bit more cocoa or chocolate powder I can't, I can't remember what i bought that it is this is what i got just these there were four for one pound so i thought i'd go with them and see how that would taste with it so, um i kind of want a tiny bit more for some reason it ain't going that dark i want it to be a bit dark Ooh. Seriously, this chocolate thing is so annoying. Okay, that's the last bit of what I'm going to do. And then, you're going to add sugar. Well, it depends how much sugar you want. And I have my teaspoon already here, what I like to use. Take one of these and put it in here. I'm going to have two of them in here. Okay, just two of them. Uh, put in them, mix that all together to just make it a bit sugary so it's nice and sweet. And then, with the oil, you will. Um, what did you want? I want a half of teaspoon. Actually, are going to be really messy. <gasps> Look, that's so messy that bit because it's so small and you're so big, and it makes it so difficult for you. Oh my gosh, I'm getting it everywhere. The cocoa powder's going everywhere. Cocoa powder bad. Cocoa powder bad. Cocoa powder bad. <gasps> cocoa powder, leave me alone. <gasps> Finally, the cocoa powder has stopped being so aggressive and annoying. <gasps> Thank you. That's not even it. Ugh. I'm so straight in. Too much. Okay, so you actually need um half a teaspoon. Oh my goodness. 
overflowing again. Okay, that's enough oil. Oh my gosh. I hate oil. So oily and make it really hard. So after you put that oil in, I think I might put too much oil in there. But you know what? Who cares? Should look and then now I'm gonna put this on in the microwave because that's how it should look. Ooh. And then you're just gonna pop it in the microwave. Or just see how it looks in one minute. And then if you need any more. So basically that is uh, what you do, you put in the microwave and see how it looks after one minute, so yeah, we just have to wait one minute, so I'm going to tidy up, so you'll probably be tidying up, you can watch me if you want, but it's not going to be quite fun to watch me tidy up the kitchen. So you can drive a bike. let's go, we do our next bit, so yeah, if you enjoy a little bite. Put a bit too much cocoa powder in it. Okay, so um, let me just do something. Okay, I'm just going to taste it, okay? Hmm. Um, it does taste my kitchen. I'm going to put it in for 30 seconds. One, two, one elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four elephant, five, okay, four more. So yeah, you just have to wait a bit longer, I'm sorry. And um, then you can basically just try a bit, see how it tastes, um, and all that. I taste a bit. Mine's a bit like caramel -y. It's really nice. <laughs> so yeah, I just have to wait a bit longer than I finished. Yeah, because it did actually taste nice. I thought it would taste as good since I made one last night, and I made it really chocolatey. Like, really, really chocolatey. So... Ooh. Okay, now that it's messy and I know that, but look, I don't think there's no more egg stuff. That's egg. Something to it. So now what I do, you don't have to. Do this. this is what I do. You can just eat it straight from the bowl, but I like to scrape it up. And kind of put it on a plate, so it's easier to cut and everything. So I get a sharp knife, kind of a budget. Some more 
and then it will like become a base. Um, you won't be able to watch that. I'm sorry, but I will put it on as my actual cover when it's all finished. So YouTube, I really do love you. Love you guys. Bye bye.